Hello everyone, welcome to Shad Runs. I am Coach Shad and today we are going to be reviewing the Skechers Go Run Razor Plus. <laughs> like, what the hell is that? So before we get started, I just want to uh, say that though any of my opinions are my own opinions and I do not get reimbursed or endorsed for anything that I review. I have never ran or owned a pair of Skechers before. Uh, I've heard good things about how they have been uh, making strides on on the in the running shoes, so I decided I was going to try a pair of them out. So I went true to size when I ordered these, and I can tell you that as far as the length, um, for the most part, the fit of the shoe was right on. Uh, my problem is, uh, which you've seen in some of my other reviews and, and videos is I have a very narrow foot, uh, not by necessarily width, but the volume, you know, of my foot <laughs> is uh, very narrow. So that goes into one of the problems I had with this shoe. The material of the upper I love. This, it breathes really well. It is very light, very thin. I love the material in this upper. But because I have such a, a narrow foot, it was bunching up on me. Uh, you can still see on here, it's very bunched up. And that caused issues when I was running that it, it, you could feel it on the top of your foot because even the, the, the um, lacing area on the on the front is even kind of curled over and bunched up and the tongue is kind of bunched up there as well and that uh, didn't didn't necessarily cause any red red spots or or hot spots or anything on my feet but it was definitely something that I noticed no matter you know what kind of run I was doing how far I was running that kind of stuff. It was something that every step I knew was there. I could feel it. The toe box, uh, you know, my feet had felt really good in the toe box uh, bec because of having to cinch it down so much. I was locked down, but but uh, didn't have any issues. You know, it it definitely locked down on my foot but the bunching um, didn't work for me and I was cinched down all the way like as far as I could get. The lockdown around the ankle collar was sufficient again because I had to you know cinch it down quite a bit uh, I didn't have much room if I was <laughs> had to go any further it wouldn't have worked for me but it did have a sufficient lockdown on the ankle. Uh, so I had no issues with that either. Just the, the top part right here was the only issues I had with, with the bunching up. Would have been nice to have at least a little bit if this was a little bit smaller to where I could have had a little more room to, to tighten it down. If I was gonna be uh, racing in this shoe, I definitely would have wanted to have it cinched down uh, a little bit um, tighter than it was just because I like a good cinch down when I'm racing. Okay now let's talk about the midsole. So this has a what they call a hyper burst uh, foam. It uh, is very soft. <laughs> I as soon as I put these on immediately was able to notice how much cushion between the insole and this foam I 
immediately it was like pillows underneath my feet. I am not used to that because I prefer a more contact, ground contact feel in my shoes. The responsiveness as I went faster because it is so light uh, was fairly well, uh, fairly decent. I felt fast in it when I pushed myself to go fast. It was very responsive. As soft as it is, it actually has. I mean, it's pretty. The way they designed this, the, the outsole and the midsole, it's very, I mean, it's got some, some snap to it. It is a four millimeter offset stack height. Uh, the best doing research on it, cause I don't have any way to, to measure it. It is, it, the best I could find was 27 millimeter in the heel and 23 millimeters in the forefoot. It is a, but it is a four millimeter uh, offset, which I like in a fast shoe. Again, it, it just amazed me with having what I wouldn't necessarily consider a very, very large, uh, you know, thick stack height for it to be that soft. Um, and it is, I mean, it is extremely, maybe for people that are used to running in, uh, you know, a softer, more cushioned uh, midsole, then they may not find it as cushiony as I do. Is that a word, cushiony? <laughs> But for me, it was very, very, very uh, soft. <laughs> okay, the outsole. They, good, Goodyear and Skechers have a deal. Uh, so the outsole is, the, the rubber goes, it was very grippy. The one thing I can see looking at the wear, I have about 58 miles on this already. So on the outsole, and I don't know if I can sh show you very good in the video, there's these little textured little ridges going across the outsole. And after 58 miles, they're actually starting to wear out a little bit and it's starting to smooth over. There's still quite a bit of rubber on it. I mean, it's it, there's still quite a bit of rubber on the outsole. As far as thickness goes but those little textured little uh, ridges are starting to wear off and so if I was to be in a uh, damp or maybe just a little like dusty like asphalt or sidewalk it it, it is not going to be as good a grip anymore um, just after 60 miles so the weight of the shoe uh, it's fairly, very, fairly light, uh, 209 grams or seven and three eighths ounces in my size. I wear a size 10 and a half. So for the durability of the shoe, it is very well built. I uh, have not had any issues with the, the, uh, Upper, I don't see a lot of, you know, rippling or anything going on with the midsole. It's just that outsole starting to wear off a little bit. It's especially where I'm, I'm a four foot, mid foot, four foot runner. The faster I go, the, the more I'm up on my toes. And so my toe off is definitely um, because that's where I drive from, my toe off is, is it's pretty much already wearing down. So that being said, even if you, if I just based it off of the outsole, not the textured ridges, but just the outsole, I would put this shoe at maybe 200 miles. So the price point. $135 is what I paid for these. 
for what you get in the shoe, that is actually a pretty decent price compared to some of the other shoes that are comparable to this, which are right around the $150 mark. So you're actually getting a pretty good deal for this, uh, for a good, fast, speed working out shoe. As soft as the cushioning is on this shoe, you could go for long runs. You could use it for a long run shoe. Uh, if that works for you, I wouldn't, just personally, I would not use this for a run more than maybe 16, 18 miles at the, at the most. So who is this shoe good for? If you like a softer landing where, with a little more cushion uh, under your feet, but you also have maybe a little bit of a fuller foot, I guess, higher volume foot, this shoe is going to work best for you uh, versus somebody like me that has a very narrow volume foot and because I have to suck up so much it bunches up the upper and not really able to get as much of a lockdown as I would want to get if I was to truly be doing some very fast speed work or using this for a racer. So overall, I was actually very impressed uh, with this shoe, my very first Skechers. It performed well, it was very responsive when I was trying to do some speed work. The weight of it is good for me uh, to, for doing longer tempo runs or, or threshold runs. For me, it is a trainer, not a racer. I would use other shoes to either race the, a 5K, 10K, half marathon, and even a full marathon. I would use a different shoe. Overall, the shoe felt pretty good. It, it, my, my feet are not used to having that much cushion. So they would ache a little bit just because of that. And the toe bunching on the top was the only major issue that I really had with this shoe. But overall, Skechers, good job. Uh, I'm excited to see what you're gonna be doing in the future. I will probably even try some of your other shoes and give them a go to, to maybe include them in my rotations of my training cycles. So that is my review for the Skechers Go Run Razor Plus. If you like this video, please hit the subscribe button and hit that like button. Uh, I will continue to be doing more videos, uh, my runs, my daily runs, as well as some of my training videos and my live uh, Friday night lives that I do and more reviews of any gear and shoes that I also uh, use during my training. Please put comments down below for any suggestions uh, or any questions that you may have and I will see you guys on the next video.